this for the championship. Oh. We're going to have a three-way playoff. In 2010, my assignment was scoring. So I was in uh, our scoring room inside uh, the clubhouse at Whistling Straits. What are they discussing? The oh, second no. shot up there was in one of those bunkers that was outside the rope area. I mentioned as, as Dustin Johnson was about ready to hit the shot, just as we turned to look at the television, you know, the incident occurred. I, you know, was in shock knowing that, look, that was one of those bunkers. And I ended up calling it in and said, we have a problem. And now the ruling has just come in. Two shot penalty. Wow. This is, uh, one of the last hole of a major championship rulings that is going to be remembered forever. Rules officials like Gregory make the difficult calls. They are men and women who've officiated at everything from PGA championships and Ryder Cups, right on down to local events. Every four years, rules officials are required to attend education workshops, but most elect to go every year. This is the PGA of America, USGA, Rules of Golf Workshop for people who've scored 85 or above on our 100 question exam in the last six years. This is the cream of the crop, really. Uh, you get, in every rules workshop around the country, you have very qualified, very experienced rules officials, but rarely do you see this many of them in one room together. Gregory and the USGA's Director of Rules Education, David Stabler, are just two of the 22 instructors who teach these schools. They are four-day seminars concluding with an exam so demanding, only 1% result in a perfect score of 100. Got a little bit of a streak. I have four 100s in a row heading into this year, uh, along with seven total. So looking forward to, uh, to seeing if I can keep the streak alive. The exam is, is very difficult. For 100 questions, it doesn't sound like much. But with that much reading and that much pressure, it's a pretty intense experience. You don't miss questions because you didn't know the rule. You miss questions because you didn't read it right or you missed one word where it said must and it shouldn't have said must. The uh, anxiety level on exam morning is uh, it's a 12 on a scale of 1 to 10. This is uh, test day, so we're done with our uh, education program and uh, this ones are back in here this morning for an 8 o'clock start and it will be a three and a half hour test. Well, we've got our projector and our laptop for our review and the box right here is what contains the exam. I've been keeping it in my hotel room until now. I've taken the bar exam. The rules of golf exam is much more difficult. I've, you know, been to graduate school and I took the LSAT and all that stuff. I think it just ranks right up there with, <laughs> with those. 99. I keep making a silly mistake every year, so I've scored a bunch of 99. You know, my goal coming in today is always just no, no reading mistakes. If I can do that, I think I'll uh, have a pretty good shot. The goal for many during these workshops is to score 92 or above. That's the magic number that qualifies them to be invited to officiate at major championships. An added benefit, though, is to see old friends. In a way, this is like a class reunion for a lot of these people. They come back because they're with people of like mind. Yeah, maybe they need a life a little bit. Maybe I needed one, too. But you know what? It's just something that, that turns all of us on. What we're going to do first is just go ahead and read the correct answers for all 100 questions. On exam day, however, everyone knows that the elusive 100 is the primary objective. 98, D, Brad. 99, D, David. C, Christy. One. It's got the 100. <laughs> Sweating it. I missed one. And there was a decision for it. I could have looked it up. I'm feeling good. I'm <laughs> feeling good. 100. Can't get much better. Oh, uh, yeah, I did get 100, along with uh, several others. So it was good. Good class. Brad Gregory's fifth perfect score in a row and eighth total are both records. But from the perspective of a player competing in this week's PGA Championship, knowing the rule and making the correct ruling on the course is really all that matters. <laughs>